Hey, good morning and happy Monday, August 16th. Wow, already halfway through August. So what's going on? Well, you know, those of you in the path of Fred, pay attention to the authorities, take precautions, and get out of the way if necessary. I'd like to figure out what's going on with Afghanistan. 20 years in there, the loss of life, the loss of financial resources, seems like this is the United States of America. We could have walked over that country in a matter of weeks if we wanted to, but what do I know? And how about the Field of Dreams? Wasn't that an exciting game? The players walking out of the cornfield at the beginning, Kevin Costner there, and congratulations to Tim Anderson and the Chicago White Sox. Tim Anderson, walk off home run. Wow, that game could not have been more exciting or better. Let's get to today's topic. So I was asked last week, Mark, if you had your way, what would you do with the uh, health insurance industry that we've got right now? <laughs> Number one, politicians. <sighs> it's amazing what they've done to us. They have convinced us that we have a better product today. Deductibles are 10 times what they were. Premiums were four times what they were just eight years ago. And the 10 essential benefits? Hey, they just convinced us water is wet. We basically had those 10 essential benefits before. And for small groups, before the last round of politicians got in there, health insurance was guaranteed to issued anyway. Hmm. I'm glad they convinced us that water is wet. We didn't know that before. Number two pre-existing conditions and underwriting. Wow, I know that's a very hot topic because you know what, the rabbit's already out of the box. Out of the hat. Rabbit's already run off. We're not going back to the way things were. Let's be honest about that. But one thing I would do is I would put a uh, limited underwriting, more than what we've got today. The other thing I would say is pre-existing conditions. Oh, pre-existing conditions would be anything a reasonably ordinary, prudent person should have sought medical treatment and or advice for. And a pre-existing condition would be anything that a doctor has diagnosed. And I'm not talking about high blood pressure or sore throat. I'm talking about serious pre-existing conditions. I would put a two-year waiting period on those things. Wow. Wow, how can you say that? Well, you know what? It's not fair to those who've had the insurance all along to have somebody come up who knowingly has a serious pre-existing condition that costs the insurance companies money that all the premium payers have to pay for that have been in the program all along. It simply isn't fair. So option three, option to purchase insurance. I would say uh, if you've been uninsured, you can buy insurance guaranteed issue at these breakpoints. Breakpoints could start like when you graduate high school at age 18, then 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, and so on and so forth. If you've been uninsured, of course, that pre-existing condition period would last for a period of two years. The other thing is, uh, if you have had insurance, you should be allowed to switch insurance companies on what's referred to as a no-loss, no-gain basis. So in this way, people, once again, who have been insured and paid their fair share all along may not feel like they've been taken advantage of by people who haven't had insurance. So while wow, Mark, boy, uh, am I being controversial here or what? I don't know. It's just three things that I see from my desk that I think are important uh, that have had an adverse effect on the insurance industry the last 10, 12 years. So on a lighter note, Scott, thank you for your health insurance this past week. We appreciate being able to be of service to you. We're working with a couple of others, renewing a couple of group policies here going on right now. Uh, and we're in the process of trying to get certified for the senior marketplace. So once again, if you have any questions or concerns about your insurance, you can give me a call at the number at the bottom of the screen, my email address. Be more than happy to be of service to you. Until next week.